All right, welcome back, everybody. We are on win 25. I'm playing for win 20. So, <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say something about how the the quality of runs is surely gonna fall off. Oh. Well, we've got uh, one of the best items in the game. We've got Polyphemus to start this one off. So, uh, yeah, we're looking all right, one might say, with, uh, you know, 14.58 damage on the first, uh, first room of the run. All right. Well, let's see what uh, let's see what we can make happen here on this one. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So let's talk about our stats, and uh, then we'll address the elephant in the room, being a high damage rate. So one, one point oh one speed. Good. No problems there. And 1.17 tier rate is not good. And if that was what I was at with uh, like a 2 damage, I would be kind of SOL'd at the moment. That's just not really the case at the, uh, in our current situation. So let's, uh, let's look again. We've got 15 damage. And what's so wonderful about this 15 damage? Well... Polyphemus, the item we started with, is a massive damage up. But, similar to items such as Cricket's Head, and, uh, you know, what we just had, it's a damage multiplier, meaning, dun -dun -dun -dun, every damage up we have after we pick up Polyphemus is going to be good. And, uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right for ourselves here. I don't want to pick up too many yuck hearts because without a spirit heart to protect them, uh, I'm just I'm asking myself to get put down to one red heart without really needing to be at that level of risk. So that's why I'm not going to use that yuck heart in the second item room at the moment, and it's why I'm not going to pick up that second one right there if I can help it. So the trinket we start with is actually kind of unique in its own way. Uh, it's adoption papers, which means what we're going to get from our shops is going to be familiar so there you go uh, why, are, why are both of them half price I, or it says they're half price they're definitely not I don't live for either but I will buy a spirit heart and at some point I do want to ditch adoption papers uh, I don't want to use it over and over uh, we'll, we'll take this rotten heart now that we have a spirit heart to protect I feel a little better about it because I'm not just one hit away from going like down to zero uh, so there you go and we got famine on deck so in a perfect world, pretty soon we're going to get a tear up before we get anything else. Because, you know, that's the real glaring weakness of our build. And Cube of Meat doesn't identify any true weaknesses we had. It doesn't really help us. Uh, but what does help us is that second Rotten Heart, man. You see all those flies as soon as they connected with Lil Horn. It's just, it's a different game. Completely different game. So there's a range up for those who uh, really wanted to see a range up in Crack Key School. But what do we got in here? We've got... Okay. Um, I will say this. Horror Babylon's good enough to take for sure. And uh, we're going to leave it at that. Now, with only one cracked key. What do I think? Well. I think the, uh, the options are limited. But I can try here. Okay. All right, let's rock and roll. I don't really know what else there is to do on this floor. We're balling. And just like that, we're off to the races again. Uh, so starting with Cursed XL is, is what it is. I mean, it's not like, oh, this is a great room to see. It's nothing magical. Um, but, you know, on the first floor of all the curses, I think Cursed Labyrinth, not that harmful compared to some of the rest. Uh, we really only lost access to one shop, and early on, you could make the argument that uh, you wouldn't have been able to do much with a shop early on anyway, so... 
two sides to every story, but that's gonna be mine. Alright, so there's a point where I'm gonna want to use two of clubs to double double my bomb count, but I don't know when that is. It's coming though. There we go. So now we're gonna get four bombs if we do it instead of two, so already holding on to it even a little bit longer has been very fruitful. Juicy Sack is very good. And I'm not even lying to you when I say I will blow up the donation machine for it. Um, because of just how valuable having spiders is going to be. It also leaves a slow creep behind me. So enemies that chase me are already at a disadvantage uh, by doing so. Because they're going to be completely slowed and they won't catch up to me nearly as easily. And uh, I don't need the red heart. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I don't really know how you do this room without offending uh, one of the poops to the left or right of that, but didn't need the key. Ooh, Golden Heart is exactly what we needed to pay off our student loans here in, uh, the, in the need of Juicy Sacks. So that's great. Oh, okay, I got pulled out of the game. Classic. More pennies. Uh, I'm happy to see him. So let's talk about the last run. I asked, I, I said I wanted to beat uh, the, the run rather quickly because I had not eaten dinner yet and I was hungry. And I don't know. I mean, the luck involved is insane. But they just, the, the game just go, went ahead and said, you know what, dude? Let's just, let's get you out of here in a timely manner. You know, I don't need to, I don't need to troll you too much today. And honestly, I really do appreciate it. I was in and out. I was laughing all the way to, to dinner, you know, so I, I had nothing to complain about. Ooh, that is sweet. Candy Heart is so cool. If we can get, so Flooded Caves one, okay. It's not, oh nice. If we can get the virus here, I'm really happy. Oh. <laughs> Battery to battery, it's a bomb. So uh, I need f more money, and it's gonna come from the heart. Uh, and then we need to try and get an IV bag. An IV bag is gonna get us absolutely juiced because Candy Heart, the item we just picked up, gives us, oh my, an idiot, yes I am. I thought it would pop outside, but it did not. So we got 12 cents, and it's not going to be enough to get that and Juicy Sack. Hmm. Hmm. We blow up Donation Machine, I think is the actual answer. Because we, uh, well, well, we'll try blowing up one guy first. Okay. I didn't find the secret room, but who knows if I'm gonna. Alright, Juicy Sack, let's roll. Welcome to the party. Now, the game plan could very well be to get Candy Heart active early and often here. And to do that, we're going to need a way of milling out our HP. So, ideally what happens here on the next floor is we do get a, an arcade. We don't have to play it very long. And it gives us the ever-wonderful IV bag. So we can always be low on Red Hearts for Horror Babylon. And then also now, so we can suck up more Red Hearts for uh, the cause that is Candy Heart. All right, Krampus does not really bother me here. Lump of coal would be great, honestly. Krampus is head, all right. I'd rather keep Book of Sin at this current moment, and there you go, five cents. Oh, man, I didn't have to blow my donation machine then. Huh. That's crazy. Okay, so perfect world to get the arcade. And usually, recently, I've noticed, it's been hard to get arcades. So we're going to see if that actually plays out in our favor. As soon as I see a vault, though, it's, it's El Bozo moves for sure. Now, annoyingly, we have not gotten any real stat up other than a range up. Which, you know, we're still doing very well. Oh, not who I wanted to see. Steam sale's cool, though. So as soon as I get, uh... oh, nice. 
I was gonna say, as soon as I get conjoined, I'm willing to drop adoption papers. Uh, we're almost, oh, please? Yay, okay. I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain, but that is actually not what we wanted to have happen. Which is crazy. But that speed and HP is great. There's no denying that either. We're happy. Just wasn't the perfect ses setup yet. And it will. We'll get there. Uh, secret room. Come on. You gotta be right here. Love it. Um, I'll blow this guy up. And we did get the deal with the devil on the last floor. It wasn't that special. So now we're just kind of farming to get to the next floor. I believe. And uh, what would we really like is homing now, because eyesore dropping extra shots in anywhere, anywhere. So as you see, I can shoot, you know, and they're just kind of shooting behind me sometimes. Anywhere. Uh, that's going to be really nice come special homing, where everything I shoot is just going to be crazy. And synth oil is great. Synth oil is a stat up that we want. And that's a huge damage up. And they're not usually, right? We just talked about this. It's got It got bigger because it got multiplied. So... A uh, typical Polyphemus W. And uh, 1.3 speed is... Oh, getting pulled out of the game again. Classic. Uh, 1.3 speed is serviceable for sure. Definitely going to be uh, happy with it for now. I mean, 1.5 I think is usually my cutoff. Like, once I get 1.5, there's... Anything after that is, is certainly bonus. Uh, 2.0 is great, though. There used to be a point in my uh, career where, you know, I 2.0 speed was actually too fast, but I don't feel that way anymore. Ooh, so consolation prize. Very nice. It's the tears up that we wanted. So hallelujah. Let's see what's in here. A mega chest is certainly worth investigating. There's, uh, there's no question about that. Now... I know the shop is going to be open this time. There's not going to be greed or ultra greed. And I know that because we just fought Wrath. And on and in this game, you can only fight one Sin who shows up at a time on a floor. So there's not going to be any more uh, goofy goober stuff going on in this shop, hopefully. <laughs> there could still very well be some goofy goober stuff. Now, can you buy Incubus and Succubus with uh, the adoption papers? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, here we go. So this is where Yumheart... I'm sorry, not Yumheart, but Candy Heart is going to start popping off, giving us the best chance we have to get a ton of uh, plays here. And I'm trying not to lose my Rotten Hearts because, I mean, as you guys have seen, these the flies are tremendously good. And, oh, wait a minute, it's Tears Ups as well. Okay. That's actually kind of sick. So we can slowly gain tears with this, and instead we're going to get Virus, which I'm totally happy to see. Uh, it's one closer to Spun, which is a very great transformation. That's just basically strictly damage, and we got speed. So, love and life. <laughs> Abel, my man. Uh, it gets us conjoined, which is definitely not something to take for granted. And I don't actually want Blue Baby's only friend. I certainly don't want Lil Delirium. Oh, okay. The intruder is like insanely good there. Hmm. Okay, let's find money. Let's run around and collect some dollars. There's one. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, intruder is great. Uh, I didn't actually even know that. Oh, didn't even know that counted as a. Potential. Oh, I didn't go to my item room. All right, let's take care of that for sure. Pick up some red hearts along the way. This is a really goofy pickup. I don't think it's the best option for me, but what it does do is it lets me have my shots that didn't hit anybody just float around. So, you know, there's, there's a benefit there, I'm sure. Now, unfortunately, with Rotten Hearts, I left it out to hang with uh, oh, with our Bone Heart because it can't get put in the back slot behind a, a fully healthy Red Heart. So, unfortunately, yeah, there you go. It's gone, so that's all right, but uh, it's just uh, one of the unforeseen 
or a four scene for sure it's four scene circumstances uh and filigree feather is very tempting let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room i might want it and why oh no i don't i don't have a deal with the angel chance do I? Do I, bruv? So we're good. Let's rock and roll. Uh, the mega chest being consumables actually helps out a great deal. It's the underwhelming option. Uh, you know, you don't. So that's conjoined. And, uh, you know. Oh, wait. I think I saw the uh, ye old guy. I think I saw ye old uh, incubus there. So we're going we're gonna to hold on to adoption papers. I like them. Uh, you know, they got no problem with them. So we're going to hold on to them. And let's get gate piece of our mind. It's on the house, buddy. I think this one's gate. And his whole shtick is he will chain brimstone uh, between his anybody living in the room besides you. So it is advantageous to kill on sight with him. And uh, quarter, honestly, would take it because we got so much HP. That, uh, there's really no reason not to. Now, is there a sacrifice room? No. Alright. Well, we're gonna play next floor really hoping that IV bag comes alive. It uh, shows up. I mean, if it doesn't, we're still great. Uh, we're still loving life. But to turn on... Oh my god. To turn on Horror Babylon would be special. Was exactly what we want to see, so... Intruder was a great pickup there, and I, I am going to keep adoption papers, because, let's face it, you know, uh, <laughs> Succubus in the shop, or Incubus in the shop, would be really good, and uh, pretty clearly it's going to give me that option, so we got Conjoined, which is great, honestly, and we can go to the item room, because we know what our shop is, and Kane's other eye, totally fine, totally fine, he shoots our shots, and our shots are good. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking forward to. This and the a potential arcade. This is the two I'm looking forward to. All right, we got Peeper. Nothing wrong with Peeper. For the final shop, yes, okay. Very good. Now there are strictly, there are actually some pretty solid advantages to having a bone heart so close to the front. And one of them is, uh, dude, if you want, you can start milling your spirit hearts away and then just pick up red hearts forever with a bone heart out front uh without an iv bag so like you could i could conceivably do that find like a, a piece of spikes i.e the sacrifice room which is why i thought uh i did want filigree feather but i went against it because i thought i knew more than uh i did so we're gonna see if there's a sacrifice room to play if there's not life goes on and uh you know we're still very happy with what we currently have but if there is uh, this floor just got very interesting don't know how i didn't get hit there i think that was cuba meets uh brilliance but ah uh, okay well with vault there you know what we're not gonna get and it's a womp 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 arcade so let's see counterfeit penny's good it doesn't do anything really for us anymore but Okay, we're going to use the world card here just to see what we don't know. And uh, what we didn't know was we can fight our wonderful boss trap room. At least see what's in there. Yeah, I'll do it. Damage is good. 1.4... Oh, I actually lost myself in the sauce there. <laughs> so here's kind of the fun of plop. I think we're so, you know, getting a lot of shots just to kind of sit in the air. Which was... Oh. Which was the goal. Ace of Diamonds is fun. Now, ideally, we're going to be able to get the full skull card, and there it is. Because I, can, I, I qualify for boss rush. Okay, mesothelioma, mesothelioma member here. Yep, I'm platinum status, baby. And we're going to wait on picking up a spirit heart till we go. And the run is so good, we could actually just straight up fight boss rush. You know, we are kind of at that point. And I'm gonna, you know, we'll play it by ear. Same as any other time. So we go to mama. We say hello. And with 33% hit 
on the deal with the devil. It's definitely not something I'm counting on. If it shows up, honestly, it's kind of a big whoop at this point. I don't know what I'd want. Uh, let's take Polaroid. We're going to pop in and... No. No. <laughs> no. No. No, that would be complete suicide. And uh, we're going to fool out. i do not not even in the mood to play it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not taking Ipecac there. That would have absolutely killed me. There's zero chance you think anybody here thinks that that's a good idea. Uh, I would love... I would love to think it would be a good idea with you. I'd love to be there right with you, but it's just... It's not the world we're living in, guys. Instead, we've got another run. Another speedy run. But this should put it in, help put it into perspective here. The last run was... Was it 20... Two minutes or 24 minutes? It was one of the two, and we were at Blue Baby Killed Blue Baby. So we, 18 minutes, just finished that charade. And now we got to get through Womb, Cathedral, all this other lovely stuff with no mapping. So, oh, good lord. It's just not even worth it, honestly, some rooms. Excuse me. All right. Nope, I don't need pillies. Now, I could get excited for an arcade on Womb 2. I could. Oh, there we go. Rotten Heart's good. Happy to see it. I don't even know. Ah! Go away. Leave me alone. But what's pausing the game is my whole sh conundrum. I don't actually know what's pulling me out of games at the moment, but it's not unique to Isaac, so, you know, it happens. Ooh, stun card is great. I am in shock that that is not the secret room. I cannot believe it. Oh, buddy got absolutely toasted. Fool. So look at all the shots we're putting out, man. This is good stuff. It's a great run. I, I know I'm not... Uh, I probably seem a little lower energy than another run that would be equivalent to this. It's a really good run. I don't know. Uh, and there's no reason to harp on it any longer. Uh, I just... Part of me wishes I could have figured out how to get Candy Heart more involved to get, uh, you know, further benefits that way. And what a treat that was. Thanks, Mama Gertie. That's why I hate Mama Gertie. If you don't have flight, it's just straight up. Yep, take damage. Ooh. All right. Uh, <laughs> Llama getting sick. Absolutely really great. And uh, we're going to roll with Book of the... I mean... It's probably better to go with Lemmageddon at this point, but... Book of Sin, you did great. Thank you for your service. Ah, okay, so we did get an arcade. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it. Okay, I'd love to see uh, somebody just die. There we go, there's somebody. Where's the other guy? Oh. So the cost of doing business with Plop is I no longer shoot in a straight line pretty much ever. Because once my shots hit each other, they redirect. That's just a, like I said, you know, that is the cost of doing business. You shoot three times with conjoined, and so it's inevitable that those shots click together. But on the bright side, I do get to kind of coat rooms relatively quickly with shots. Ooh, petrified poop. What do we got? I mean, we can try. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Let's just, you know, keep things a buck with each other here. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. Run, baby. Hello. All right. Well, I hope you guys are having a good day. I, I certainly am. Uh, it's really, you know, spring has finally sprung. Uh, daylight savings has come around. And uh, today is, I am recording this on daylight savings, so I lost an hour. 
And uh, I'm fine with it because it's a glorious Sunday, so it's not like there's much to do uh, today that I'm missing out on by uh, losing that hour. So I feel good. I uh, honestly, I still am kind of confused on what daylight savings really is for. Um, there's people that say abolish it, like it's some sort of, you know, evil agenda or something, and I don't really understand where that comes from. So, if anybody knows why we could get rid of daylight savings or not, let me know. Oh, okay. Well, a second sun card is blood for the blood god at this point, so... Okay, what do we get? Adrenaline, and that's spun! I don't see the need in taking these, but I'll take money equals power! <laughs> ah, uh huh? <laughs> All right, so we we might get done with this run quickly. Twenty two fifty nine. So I think I think the other one was twenty two minutes, if I remember correctly, uh, and I might not. But I'm trying to get this one done. Let's see, what is a reasonable? Oh, bar of soap is phenomenal. Shot speed is actually really good here, along with the tears up, because it helps our cue balls, you know, stretch out further instead of sitting so still it does mean a lot more chaos in rooms most likely but uh that's got to be a risk you're willing to take from time to time so again i can't believe it but another really fast and wonderful run and you know part of me is getting worried because i know you're gonna i'm gonna have to pay for this eventually you know there's gonna be a run that is just an absolute stinker and hello oh okay that is an absolute stinker and it's coming all right it'll, i'm sure and it, it it trust me if you've been around the block for every good run you have, there's going to be at least one or two not good runs. So the fact that I'm still, I'm so due for one, uh, really makes me wonder how Karma is going to balance that out. The run that uh, I'm going to receive as a result of just being so uh, <laughs> lucky this past week, almost pretty much an entire week of playing, uh, has granted me just the, some of the most insane runs of the year already, for sure I can say that. Uh, definitely one of the fastest runs I'm going to be able to have this year. You know, Cricket's head mom's knife almost immediately. Yeah, that, that'll do. And then starting with Polyphemus, you know, like... Oh, my! Okay, Compass. Yeah, we're going to get done in 30 minutes or less. That's my guarantee to you. Uh, GB Bug oh, Capricorn I'm fine with. And uh, let's just roll. I uh, There's no... Usually I wouldn't take Samson's Chain because I don't like breaking rocks uh, over and over, which is why I don't like Stompy, which is why no one should like Stompy. Uh, because usually rocks have some sort of negative effect to getting broken. Uh, but there's no rocks to break here. So Samson's Chain is just what it is. Take it at face value. It's, it's nothing. It's essentially nothing. But I digress. Trying to keep our soap, but you know all these shots are coming in and I'm not... This is a point where I would like, you know... I'd like to maybe not have plop. Just because, I don't know, it's not like it's... It's it's fine. It just means I can't shoot in front of myself, which is the bigger issue. Um, I want to say, because I know how to read, uh, we're going to say it's this way. Uh, it very well might be. And, yeah, that one was that one was going to be short-lived no, <laughs> no matter how you slice it. And uh, we made it to Blue Babe, 25 minutes. That is great time. That is an honest to goodness great time. I I literally cannot believe it. Usually at 25 minutes, I'm not anywhere near here. And then back to back runs is so special. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give this guy my two cents and call her a day. Get everybody out of here on time. Kane's other eye is actually kind of an unsung hero, man. He's kind of just he is throwing Plinko balls out. I mean, he is just absolutely throwing them. So, that's got to be a wrap if I've ever seen it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was... I mean, that, I, you can't argue with it. You start with uh, Polyphemus, you're going to have a good time. So, there's the run. It was about 26 and some change. Another speedster. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you all for the next one.